for tuning in to Let's Talk About It Media 21. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And please turn on the notification bell. That way, every time I upload a video, you'll be the first one to see it. Let's get into it. What we're going to talk about, we talk about celebrity news, celebrity gossip, what's going on on IG and Google. Fair use. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comma, comments, comma, news reporting, comma, teaching, comma, scholarships, and research. Fair use is used permitted by a copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. All comments are alleged in our opinion and for entertainment purposes only. And don't forget, the Cash App is Let's Talk About It Media. And thank you for your love and support. So don't forget to like, to comment, also subscribe, and also turn on the notification bell. So let's get to it. It's being reported that the family was at the SB Awards. And I'm going to play a quick clip in regards to what his wife mentioned. And she's giving her husband kudos. Uh, some will say congratulations. Some will say, oh, Michael Jordan's the real GOAT. The biggest thing is, it's okay to have several different great players that has been able to give us entertainment, show show support to the community, show so much love to community. It doesn't have to be just one. Michael Jordan was with, you know, his era. LeBron James is a part of his era. Steph Curry, one of the best shooter, he's a part of his era. There's room for everybody. So let's listen in. Y'all know I love basketball. Y'all know I love playing different clips when it's Savannah or LeBron James. Huge fan. I'm happy that they are together. They're happy together. They're taking care of their family. They show love and support. So let's listen in on what she had to say about her man. I think it was a great clip. Let's get into it. Please honor LeBron for breaking the NBA's all-time scoring record. I decided I wanted to tell you what I think. I think LeBron James is the baddest mother... No. <laughs> That's on me. LeBron James is the baddest to ever set foot on a basketball court. Nobody works harder, nobody cares more, and nobody has done more for the game of basketball than LeBron James. As the ESPYs honor LeBron for breaking the NBA's all-time scoring record, I decided I wanted to tell you what I think. I think LeBron James is the baddest mother... No. <laughs> So cute. <laughs> I think LeBron James is the baddest to ever set foot on a basketball court. Nobody works harder. Nobody cares more. And nobody has done more for the game of basketball than LeBron James. As the ESPYs honor LeBron for breaking the NBA's all-time... So congratulations to LeBron. Let's listen in on what LeBron had to say. I don't think he's going to be retiring, which is a blessing. Many people were wondering what's going to happen for the coming seasons because there's been a few, you know. Um, I think he was concerned about how the team did in the finals. Of course, they were doing extremely well. And then, of course, they could not pull it off another team won. So let's listen in on LeBron and what he has to say about basketball. Score or what I can or cannot do on the floor. The real question for me is, can I play without cheating this game? The day I can't give the game everything on the floor, it's the day I'll be done. Lucky for you guys, that day is not today. So he's not retiring. Hallelujah. <laughs> like I mentioned in some of my other videos, he definitely wants to play with his son, Bronny. Will he stay in the league so he can play with his other son? Not for sure, but that would be almost another three or four years. Me and some people were talking. That's a long time to stay in the league at the level that he plays at. Of course, people want to go out in regards to retirement. They want to go out on a high note. So the biggest thing is 
well wishes. Let's see if her, his son gets drafted and if he gets drafted, drafted at a high level and will he ever be able to play with his dad? That's the biggest thing. So congratulations to Savannah. I think that was really cute in regards to Savannah and the daughter um, joking around. They have a great sense of humor, great family bond. They care about their children. Of course, you see that they have three children together. Uh, Bronnie's the oldest. And then for some odd reason, within a, like a year, 13, 14 months, the other son just skyrocketed and grew several inches. So great family bond. I love their uh, family unit. So congratulations to them for the awards. He did extremely well for this season. And unfortunately, the Lakers weren't able to pull it off. Now, mind you, Kim was trying to kind of distract. And that's the sad part about it. Anyone that's trending, doing well, how, how did that happen? Um, Kim was at the game. And then all of a sudden, she tried to have LeBron's face in a purse. And people were shading Kim, like, stay away from him. Don't make him a part of your storyline. He has nothing to do with you. He has a wife. Why are you looking so thirsty? Why are you posting him? You shouldn't even be posting him or saying anything about him. I think the post was, like, deleted. But that's so weird. It's cringy. Whoever's trending, that's who she wants to trend with. So congratulations to LeBron, his family. I think they're a great family bond. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. Like, comment, and subscribe.